So, um, I gotta do uh, another update for my kombucha. But right now, I wanted to show you how I make quinine. Let me turn my water off. And quinine, basically, to help because it's getting to um, cold and flu season, and you know, get stuffy nose and whatnot. And um, I learned how to make quinine uh, through internet searches. I've read some articles. Um, but I wanted to show you how I make quinine and uh, what I use and usually I put other things in there but right now I have a whole bunch of leftover uh, grapefruit so I usually whenever my family eats grapefruit um, we'll take a, the peels and I'll put it in a bag and put it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it and I have a whole bunch of leftover grapefruit so I'm going to show you that um, what I have left, and I have um, this grapefruit. These are all the leftover grapefruit, uh, some of the peels, and um, the grapefruit that the kids didn't want to finish eating. I put it all in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some, uh, some water, and I don't take water out of the sink. I live in uh, Las Vegas, and the water from the sink here is so bad that I can't even wash my hair with the just the regular tap water. I actually have to put a filter on it. Um, but I have a water filtering machine, and what I usually do is I put them in these little containers, and I'll have uh, several of them. I have my own my container down there, and then I have some con some containers down there. Um, but I will fill this up. I don't have a stove right at this moment, so I have a hot plate. Um, we're renovating so I have a hot plate right now and I am going to fill this up and I like to put I'll put it all in there um, I'll put a little bit more as well um, but so what I'm gonna do sometimes I put a couple sticks of cinnamon in there um, and some honey but I will put some sea salt in there and that sea salt is gonna take a little bit of the bitterness away and uh, I have a lot, like I said. So I'm just gonna fill it up with water. And once I fill that up, um, there's a whole bunch, <laughs> there's a whole bunch in there. Okay, and then I have some, let me show you what I have. This is my spice rack. <laughs> I got a bunch of different spices, and but I'll get some sea salt and put it about because this is a lot so i will put them i'll guesstimate it and i'll just put uh, about a quarter cup in there no less than a quarter cup maybe uh an eighth of a cup inside there and um i like to put some other stuff in there just to flavor it sometimes i'll put some banana peels in there if i have bananas um and uh, if I if I have enough room, I will actually put some lemon in there. I cut up a lemon, squeeze it, and put the whole thing in there. Rind and, rind and all, um, put that in there. That grapefruit is peeled grapefruit, and when I uh, make or when I give grapefruit to the kids, I'll peel it all the way through, and then I'll open the skin up and give them the the pulp inside there, and that's they love it that way. But um, I like I said, I just keep that grapefruit. And I put it in the freezer. I've noticed if I put it in the fridge, um, uh, they'll end up having mold on it. So I've been putting it in the freezer just to save, uh, save it from getting mold. And um, so I've accumulated a lot. And since I've accumulated so much, I am going to and then I'll add a little bit of honey just to sweeten it. And this is the honey that I use. You can see it. Doo, 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 doo. I'm gonna put the honey in there and let it boil. I'm gonna cover it and let it boil. Um, well, the quinine is that you're gonna let it boil. Once it hits boiling point and the whole thing is boiling, you're gonna want to turn it down and let it simmer for at least two and a half to three hours and. You have to leave it covered. Do not uncover it because what? Because what's happening is that the steam and everything that hits the top of the lid is the actual medicine, the quinine that you need. So 
Um, you don't want to uncover it. I've had my, I've covered it once with something, uh, uh, what did I cover it with? Oh, I covered it with a plate and my husband's taken the plate off on accident and I'm wondering what it was. So, um, I have now I've been using this, this, uh, just this covering and I'll turn it on to high, make sure it's plugged in and I'll wait for it to boil. Once it starts boiling, um, I'll turn it down to low. I'll set my alarm for about two, two and a half to three hours. And then once I'm done with that, I'll let it, I'll take it off of the burner and let it sit overnight. And once it gets to room temperature, I'll open everything up and then I will strain it and put it into um, a container um, preferably glass container and then set that in the fridge um, I'll put uh, another container into the freezer um, I'll have just one of these mason jars right here one of these mason jars I'll put what I can in here the liquid and then I'll put the rest of it in another mason jar and set that in the fridge or freezer and then I'll have that for the whole rest of the winter and when you get sick you're gonna take that quinine um, other people have put like uh, beans in there to get the zinc. Um, I haven't tried that yet. I'll just put some uh, honey and I will sometimes add some ginger to it um, and some banana peels and salt so get rid of the bitterness. And then I will make that concoction. And once you get sick, what you're going to do is take about a tablespoon of it three times a day and you'll do it for roughly about three days and no matter i mean from from my experience doing that has helped you know with the mucus and the phlegm um actually made me feel better i also i don't know if you, um i've ever showed you but i also have um honey that is fermented in ginger and this is really good a really good antibiotic my husband's here ear would start hurting and I will take this and I'll chop it up and have him eat it. You can actually just stick it in your mouth. It's not as hot because it's in the honey. And um, you can swallow that. You know, chew it in your mouth and swallow it. Uh, I let it ferment in there for three days. And I'll just burp it occasionally. Um, but this is, the, this is real honey. And then um, garlic in there. Did I say ginger? Um, but it's garlic in there and I like I said I fermented it for three days and this is a really good antibiotic uh, um, anti-inflammatory year you know if you're sick take this as well I am my daughter had a toothache and um, I don't like giving her that Tylenol and so what I did was I gave her that I cut up a piece of the garlic and then chopped it up and put a little bit of the honey in there and she swallowed it and then within an hour her toothache was gone and usually her toothache lasts for several days and you know so um like I said I gave it to my daughter and it worked my husband's ear his earache went away um so that's another type of medicine that we use in our home um and like I but I wanted to show you how to, to do the quinine hydroxychloroquine is a uh, part of that quinine so you can make this yourself, the hydroxychloroquine. Um, the zinc that you can get from from beans, I'm not too sure what beans they are, but you can actually boil beans in there as well and make sure make your own hydroxychloroquine. And the great thing about that is that it is all natural. So, uh, but um, I was getting ready to do this and I wanted to show you guys how I did it. Um, this is a really, <laughs> I'm not really good at making these videos, so um, you get like a just a, a rough cut of what I do um, in my home and what I've been learning. And um, if you have any questions, I don't have very many subscribers, but I'm sure if you are on my video watching this, then you're there for a reason. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. I don't get very many comments, so... Um, I'm sure you will get answered and I will make sure I answer those questions. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a blessed day and thank you for stopping in and taking a gander at what I do. I hope that I do help somebody out. Maybe they'll help me out and tell me how they do things. So I hope you have a great rest of the day, week and month. 
um, and stay blessed in Jesus' name, Yeshua HaMashiach's name. God bless, guys. <laughs>